So what we want to do today is, is simple. We want to be able to graph a linear piecewise function. That's what we're looking to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work two examples with you. Let's do this one first because it's a little bit easier. Okay, so what I have is I've got this piecewise function f of x. And from negative 10 to negative 2, it's defined with this function right here. From negative 2 to negative 1, it's defined with this function. And from negative 1 to 10, it's defined with this function right here. Now, it tells me right here that it's linear. So it's a straight line in between each section. So what I need to do is I need to plug negative 10 into this function right here and negative 2 into this function right here. Okay, so I'm going to plug negative 10 in and I want to find my output. So I need everybody to plug negative 10 in for x right there and tell me what you get out. And so when you plug negative 10 in for x right there, you get 6 out. And so that's the ordered pair, negative 10, 6. Okay, now we need to plug in negative 2 into the function. So I need everybody to plug negative 2 in right there for x, and we'll have a point negative 2, 5. Now what you see is this right here is equal to. All right, so negative 10 is next to, next to an equal sign. And so this point right here is going to be a closed circle. But this negative 2 here is next to a, a less than but not equal to. So the point that it corresponds to is going to be an open circle. So I'm going to go to negative 10, 6. That's left 10 and up 6. And I'm going to put a point. And it'll be a closed one. Okay, and so that's one point, and now I'm going to go to negative 2, 5, and put a second point, like I said, because it's not equal to, it'll be an open circle. So I'll go to negative 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put an open circle. Now, they told us that the function is linear, and so I know in between the two points, I have a straight line. Now, you need to use a straight edge, like the back of your calculator, to draw a perfectly straight line. My line right here is not perfectly straight, but that's because I can't use a straight edge on the calculator. Now that I've plugged in negative 10 and negative 2, I need to plug in negative 2 and negative 1 into this function. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 into the function and get some point, and I'm going to plug in negative 1 into the function and get some other point. Mm -hmm. So when you plug negative 2 in here, that's negative 2 plus 7, which equals... Five. Now you can see that there's an equal sign next to the negative 2, which tells me that this is a closed circle. Okay, And then when I plug my negative 1 in, it's not equal, so it'll be an open circle. So at negative 2 and up 5, that closes this circle down. And at negative 1, when I plug negative 1 in, I get 6 out, so I go left 1 and up. 6, and I have an open circle, and I'm going to draw a line in between the two. Okay, we're almost done. Now I need to take negative 1 and plug it into this function, and 10, and also plug it into that function. So y'all do that? Okay, so when we plug negative 1 into this function, my output ought to be 6. Is it? So that's at negative 1, 6, which makes this a closed circle. And then I'm going to plug 10 into it. When I plug 10 in, what's my output? Negative 6. And so i got to graph the point 10 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I need to connect those two dots. Now the reason I know that those dots are all connected with straight lines is because they tell me right here that it is a linear piecewise function. So I know in between my dots it's going to be a straight line, straight line, straight line. So right there you just graphed a piecewise function in between negative 10 and positive 10.
Okay, so now let's go and look at this example. Okay, and this instead of this one having three parts of the piecewise function, it's got one, two, three, four. Now this function is defined from negative 10 to negative 5, right? So you need to plug negative 10 into this function, and you need to plug negative 5 into this function and see what your outputs will be. So you'll have negative 10 something, and you'll have negative 5 something, and don't... When you plugged in negative 10 into this function, what'd you get out? Negative 5. Negative 5. And when you plugged in negative 5 into this function, what'd you get out? Negative 7. Negative 7. So let's graph these two. I go left 10 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I go left 5 and I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it should be an open circle. And so I'll connect them. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to take negative 5 and plug it into this function and negative 1 and also plug it in. And then after that, we need to take negative 1 and plug it into this function and 6 into this function. And then after that, we need to plug this 6 in here and this 10 in here, right? So y'all go ahead and do the next three functions. You should have two points to graph for this one, two points to graph for this one, and two points to graph for this one. Go ahead. Okay, so when we plug negative 5 into this function right here, what's the output? So I go to negative 5, negative 7, and that becomes a whole filled-in circle. When you plug negative 1 into this function, what do you get? So you got negative 1 and up 3. And so I'm going to connect those two. All right, and so now I'm going to plug negative 1 into this function. What do you get? Negative 1, 3. And when you plug 6 into this function right here, what do you get? 6, 5. 6, 5, right? 6 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Open circle. And then I plug 6 in here. That couldn't be easier. Negative 6 plus 11 is 5. Mm -hmm. 6, 5. Now you need to use a straight edge even though I'm not using a straight edge. And when I plug 10 in here, I get 1. So it's 10, 1 right there. And so now I'm going to connect those two like that. And so this right here represents, this represents the graph of this piecewise function. All right, now here, what the last thing I want to tell you is this. When it says right here, negative 10 is less than or equal to x, which is less than negative 5, when it's equal to, it goes in a bracket, a bracket. So that's negative 10, comma, negative 5. Since this is not equal to, then it'll just be a parenthesis. So notice right here, when the negative 10 is, has an equal to, then we put it in a what? Bracket. bracket. And when it doesn't have an equal to, we put it in a parenthesis. So bracket means it's a closed-in circle. Parenthesis means it's not a closed-in circle. So if I wanted to take this right here and put it in inter interval notation, I would have bracket 6, comma 10, and another bracket because you can see right here, it's equal to on both of these, isn't it? Okay. <coughs> what about this one, the middle? Let's say I want to take this one and put it in interval notation right here. It'd be bracket negative 5, comma, negative 1, and parentheses because it's equal to here, that's why I put the negative 5 in a bracket, but this negative 1 is not equal to, so that's why I put it in a parenthesis. So now what I want you to do is go and try to get three in a row on that activity.